Hey guys, I'm Savus and in this video I am going to show you a way to make an art satchel on your own for less than $20. So I'll try to make this intro as short as humanly possible. First thing is you probably remember that a few months ago I made a review on the art satchel and I had a lot of critique about that bag. I decided that the reason why it's so expensive and also why it is so heavy is partially because of the materials used and I understand that they're using top materials like military grade materials that can pretty much resist water, moisture, rain, whatever, you can put it in a tornado and your art satchel would still be okay. And this is a great thing, this is a forever uh, lasting uh, piece of equipment but at the same time uh, all those materials they make this product very expensive and also very 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 heavy so as a conclusion I decided that I am going to try and make my own art satchel from cheap materials I pretty much recycled stuff that I had at home and I also got some very cheap things from Aliexpress so let's start so the first thing that you'll need is a bag and I got mine from Aliexpress pretty cheap. I think it was around $16. It's very important for the zipper to go all the way through and it's also very important for the bag to be able to fold back like this. I'll leave a link in the description below from the shop where I got it from. The next thing that I got was this artboard or clipboard or just a piece of wood cut to the size of your bag so it will fit snugly into your bag. This one is made out of cardboard and it's pretty durable. I find it more durable than the plastic ones. I'm going to keep the clip on and the print doesn't really matter because it won't be that visible. So use whatever hard material you have for the back of the bag. I'm using four of these metal hooks that I got from Aliexpress. These are made for bag making. Last but not least, I got this strap for bags or guitars for around $3 from eBay. I'll leave a link in the description below to all the items that I purchased. If you like recycling, this project is perfect for you because for the fabric I used a recycled old pair of jeans that I no longer wear. So step number one would be marking where I want to sew the loops. Now I'm going to sew a loop on, on each corner of the bag using stripes of fabric. In my case I'm using my old jeans. So I need to cut four stripes that are pretty much the same length to put the loop on. I'm going to first of all sew the strap of fabric to the loop and later sew it on the bag itself. It is optional, but just to make it even sturdier, I'm going to do additional stitching in form of a cross when I'm attaching these to the bag itself. Okay, now that all the four loops are attached to the corners, we're ready to go. I inserted and secured the board into the back side of the bag so it will be nice and sturdy, nice and firm. Now it is time to test it out and see how it works. So this way it looks like a normal messenger bag but it has the four loops on its back. To use it I unzip the bag and then flip it over. I use a paper clip to attach both parts of the bag together, so I'll have one nice slate. I am also hooking the hook over the other opposite loop. This way the bag is secured as a table in front of me and I can work. This is a very nice 
and well-balanced workspace and I can jump around, I can walk around, I can do whatever I want and it will still hold. So I just admit you enjoy watching me jump all around and acting like an idiot. So after quite a few thoughts, I decided to take the old pair of jeans that I used for making this uh, bag and I cut out uh, the pockets and kind of attach them with this pins to the sides of my bag. This way, when I am holding the bag, they are dangling from both sides and I can put my art supplies in. So this is basically the reason why it took me so long to upload this video. I just couldn't find the right moment to go out and actually test the bag that I've made. And when I planned to do my sketching on Saturday, it suddenly became rainy and kind of weird. The weather was not very stable, so I decided to just stay at home and sketch something from my window. I ended up trying a completely different approach. Now, I was kind of surprised with how functional this bag turned out to be. The balance is a little bit lacking, so there might be like different things you can do. For example, um, attach the straps differently when you're sketching. So, was this bag comfortable? Well, the answer is um, it was for what it is because standing and sketching while you stand or even sit but you have all this weight on your shoulder for me this is uh, kind of painful so it didn't solve the problem 100% but if you're doing quick sketches and you're not going to sit there for like an hour or two like I did with this sketch then it would be completely fine now for me I again made the mistake of hanging this thing on my uh, back while sitting basically because I knew I was going to do it for like an hour or two after one hour uh, I started feeling back pains but it wasn't nearly as bad as it was with the etcher because the etcher is so much heavier and my back is very sensitive and it's very prone to hurting when um, as a result of weight so basically I am satisfied with this bag will I use it very often I don't know um, it is more functional than the etcher so if you think the etcher is something that would be very functional for you. You might consider it making this bag instead. For me, um, I'll probably take it to museums with me, but other than that, if I can take my easel instead, I would definitely prefer taking my easel with me. But yeah, it really, really depends on your needs. I'm a little bit less of a sketcher and a little bit more of a painter, but if you are sketching, I think this bag is really awesome. The only bad thing about this bag is that you can't really hold a lot of stuff in it and also it's kind of hard to organize stuff and to pull stuff out when needed. That's why I made those pockets and they partially solved this problem for me but not entirely. Probably won't take it for long plein airs with oils for example but for quick sketches this is more than enough. So I hope this video was useful to you. Thank you so much for watching till the end. Please leave a comment, give this video a thumbs up and if you enjoy my content, please consider subscribing. That would be very, very, very nice of you. So I uh, hope to see you all guys in the next video. Until then, bye!